Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the great state of Colorado. More specifically, we are still within the city of Denver, and we have come downtown, downtown, to the downtown aquarium here at uh, downtown Denver. Now, Jen, you said that you've never been to an aquarium before. No. <laughs> I don't know how this is possible. Have you ever, like... I really wanted to go to one. Have you ever seen a fish? Just What's a, a fish? You don't even know what a fish is. No. I honestly... He got mad at me. I didn't know a shark was a fish. Oh, my gosh. Are we going to bring that up here? Yes. Yes. I don't know. I thought it was a mammal. It seems weird oh, that it's no. a fish. A shark is definitely a fish. Definitely a fish. I will... I not, believe him. You're not allowed. You're not allowed in the aquarium oh, if you no. don't. If you don't think a shark is a fish. I was singing aquarium the whole way here, so what, he's of, annoyed with me on all kinds of levels. I'm a never, shark is a fish. Well, that does annoy me. Shark is not a fish. The shark is a fish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're going to the aquarium, Jacob. Yeah, maybe there'll be some fish in shark shape with inside the downtown aquarium here. So please follow us. carousel outside here you can ride a dolphin or you can ride an otter there you can see the otter you actually sit on his belly and ride cool frog too I just noticed back there you can ride a manatee look at the little manatee back there so the saddle on <laughs> And look at this over here. We have this uh, this shark character inviting us to sit on the bench. And uh, for some reason, he's got some washboard abs there. Very muscular shark. And in addition, uh, in addition to those washboard abs, he's also got some black eyes, like a doll's eyes. Look, Jen, there's a big chair. It is a big chair. It's a very tilty chair. Look there, down you go. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, so relaxing. Is it comfy? It looks comfy. Uh, That's why I didn't go on it. I'd be stuck there. I would live there now. Okay, I admit it wasn't comfy. <laughs> All right, so we head in. Okay. That's Sharky there. The shark with with abs is named Sharky. He says no outside food or beverages in the aquarium. As we enter here, there's like a Nautilus-like submarine. And you can see a giant squid, although is the squid inside the submarine? Now I'm confused. Oh, it looks like this old submarine is actually an escalator. You got on the escalator in one try. I did, I'm getting better. <laughs> at the top of the escalator, we are greeted here by an old, Timey scuba diver in the uh, survivor shark tank there. Actually, I think I think you can climb behind him and get inside of his head. Can you see my face? I can. Here we have a very modern pressed uh, penny machine. 
You don't have to put uh, your own penny in. In fact, you don't put any change in at all. It's, you just swipe your credit card and it will crush a uh, penny for you down here. So uh, you, apparently you can't swipe the credit card machine for just a dollar. You have to put a dollar, a physical dollar in there. I don't actually don't have any dollars, which is rare. I, I do try to carry dollars. It looks like we're gonna have to swipe the credit card to get uh, all eight for $5. I'm gonna crank out eight smashed pennies. Oh, see the pennies being crushed in there one by one. All right, let's see. Ooh, they're hot. Look at all those. Look at all those smashed pennies there. Oh no. Oh, look at all those, those precious smashed pennies there. You got the shark. I think that's, is that the, uh, yeah, it's a train. Apparently during the summer they have a train that goes around outside. We got a mermaid right there. So much fun. Here's how they show how they track sharks. You got the, uh, like a tracking device. I guess you just uh, screw it onto their fin. And then, uh, I don't know, I'd be pretty nervous if I like saw a shark fin come up and it had like a robotic device on it. I would think it was like some sort of remote control evil shark. And here we can actually track some uh, live sharks in real time. Let's see, I guess these different uh, shark sightings. Oh, it shows where the where the sharks travel. Man, sharks, sharks move around a lot. He's been down around Florida, into the Gulf of Mexico, and back. The megalodon teeth right here as we enter the aquarium. Here's a map of the United States showing all the different bodies of water. Oh, what would you, would you flip there, Jen? Lake Erie and Ontario. Oh, you went, oh. you went over here to the Great Lakes? Yeah. It's my hole. <laughs> so we just came into the aquarium. We're looking here at the first fish that uh, that we've seen here at the aquarium. And, and to be completely honest with you, I think these fish right here, I think they're crappy. I think they're a bunch of crappies hanging out in the water. Yeah, and here we have a big alligator snapping turtle. See, he's poking his head out in the water. I remember growing up, going to the Shed Aquarium was kind of my home aquarium, and they had this giant alligator snappy turtle, bigger than that. And they said he would go up for air, I think once every 30 minutes, and otherwise he would just lay there motionlessly. It says, please look up, fish swimming overhead. Well, that's impossible. Oh my gosh, look at that. There's a bunch of fish just swimming around up above our, up above our heads. <laughs> yeah, we got a real otter in there. Outside on the carousel, I rode an otter, and now see an actual uh, flesh and blood otter. Although he looks like he might be a little sleepy. He's got that ball in his hand, so I'm hoping maybe he decides to play with it. But I don't know, he looks like he's kind of uh, halfway ready for a nap. Oh, look. There's an otter right there doing some, doing some tricks for us. Oh look, he's playing with his ball there. At the bottom. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, there he comes. Hi, buddy. Oh no, otter fight. Oh my gosh, they're in a high intensity wrestling match. Oh no, who's gonna win? For some reason, above the otter enclosure, there is a uh, fake bald eagle. It almost looks like, I don't know, it almost looks like he may have been an animatronic at one point. I don't know, I don't know the story behind this, uh, this bald eagle here. We have a little peek here into the otter bedroom. Oh no. It's like they're still having their wrestling match in here. Oh my gosh, it's like an otter fight. Or supremacy. I didn't know. I didn't know otters engaged in such uh, vicious combat. Look at all these Kakoni salmon here, and look at this delicious bass. 
And here's Colorado State Fish, the cutthroat trout. It's known as the most vicious and cutthroat of all the different trout. As we enter this cave here, we have the skeleton of a Mosaurus, the vicious underwater dinosaurs. You see them get ready to gobble up these fish here. <laughs> Oh, watch out, Jen. Oh, getting a fish selfie there. Sturgeon selfie. Sturgeon selfie. All right, they have a uh, flash flood section here. It says we can either go through the wet zone or the dry zone. Or there's gonna be maybe a, a flood crashing through here in a moment. Oh, here it comes. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, get away from it. Gosh. Oh, watch out up there. Got a uh, vicious rattlesnake. Oh, there it goes. See it rattling. Here is the tidal pools of the Sea of Cortez. Apparently, the Sea of Cortez, a uh, gulf in California. This is a pretty little uh, Cortez fish there. Got some more snakes over here. This is the uh, emerald tree boa. And down there we have a big old desert toad. It says, can you find the shorebird in this exhibit? And Jen, you actually I found, it. You found it. It's it's over there. I guess just one bird uh, in here. Just a little bird there hanging out in the shore. He's a shorebird, so you know, he doesn't really like going in the water. He just likes hanging out on the shore. Stingrays on the ground there. And look at that. It's a moray eel hanging out in those rocks back there. Oh, well, look at that. Open up his big scary mouth. Oh yeah, I got a big old sea turtle there. Just hanging out on the floor. How you doing, Mr. Turtle? There you can see a couple of lobsters hanging out. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice this moray eel over here. He is so big. That eel is so big. Look at him. Look at him. He's hypnotizing me. I mean, he's just like standing up like a person. Maybe he's trying to be a person. Maybe he sees all the people come by in front of the aquarium all day. So he's like pretending like he's a person, that he's standing up, and then he's uh, pretending to talk. He's like, blah, 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 I'm a person. I like looking at fish. Let's see some different uh, seahorses in there. Seahorse there. Entering an underwater tunnel here. Oh yeah, a bunch of stingrays there on the uh, on the floor. Also, that's some sort of shark right there. Thinks that maybe a tarpon. Oh, that stingray just bit that tarpon on the tail. Why are the animals here so violent towards each other? Oh, see a stingray. It's so cute. It's flying over top of us. That's a Popeye catalufa there. See, there's a little. A little sand fall, like a, it's like a waterfall. There's sand falling there behind the behind the Catalufa. What's going on, Jen? You gonna crawl through some coral? I guess I feel obligated. You have to do it. <laughs> In you go! I don't know, I enjoy every minute of it. <laughs> it's like we're entering some sort of wharf here. 
can rent a boat. Oh, get a bath and a shave for 25 cents. That's a good deal. Yeah, they got some fun theming here. Out here on like an old fisherman's wharf. They actually have aquariums built in to the buildings here. Like the bait shop here has a pot belly seahorses swimming around in it. All right, I think uh, another thing here after. Yay, another thing to crawl, climb in. Crawl into. A bird man! Look at this. This fish here is missing an eyeball. It's a tough life. It's a tough life being a fish. See a boat in here, the USS Landry's. It says no service animals at this point. Very rarely do you see a no service animal sign. But apparently it says uh, the restriction from the tiger exhibit because the tiger could see them as prey. Wow, so I guess the tiger tiger hates service animals. And also there's apparently a tiger here in the aquarium. <laughs> Jen, see this nice little fish right here? Yeah, maybe, maybe you can just like put your arm over top there and and <laughs> pet him. No, don't do that. He could turn you into a turn you into a skeleton in ah. four seconds. Oh no. Oh look at his teeth on the side. Yeah, you're not messing they're not yeah. messing around. Says thank you for keeping our fish healthy. Say like, don't don't pet the fish, that that makes them unhealthy. But they're piranha. I think there's other reasons you don't wanna you don't wanna pet them. And over here we have the paku. He's kind of like a piranha, but he's a vegetarian. And look at this guy here. He's a very interesting fish. Let's see another fish there. The same species is uh he's like a silver color but he is all white and it looks like he has no eyes. I, I don't know if they're just hidden, but that's a very interesting fish there. I'm really curious. I couldn't figure out what species of fish this was. All right, here's some more. Okay, these are barramudi. Like the, yeah, that's a, that's a arowana right there. The giant fish. But uh, yeah, the barramudi there, I don't, I don't understand why that one was all white. It may just be, maybe it was just born differently. But wow, yeah, look at that. Look at that big fish right there. Okay, I think the tiger must be in here. I don't see the tiger. Looks like he's uh, been shredding some cardboard. Let's see if we can see if we can find him. Yeah, so far no tiger sightings. I don't know. Maybe they're back in their cave sleeping. Jen, do you see the tiger? Do you see the tiger? Do you see the tiger? Yeah, I don't know what she's talking about. We don't see the tiger right now. We can see some of the play tired toys tiger there. Toy. That's for a tired tiger toy. Looks like they got some good use yep. out of that. This is There's what one tiger did to a brand new ball. Oh, wow. Within four hours. Four hours a tiger did this to a ball. Imagine what he could do. Now, to my face. Yeah. Now, it probably only took him an hour and a half to two hours to do this damage. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's the house cat there. The kitty, and then there is the tiger. Okay, it looks like we have a tiger viewing platform up here. Okay, okay. I see the tigers. It's like they're snoozing over there. What do tigers dream of when they take their little tiger snooze? Do they dream of mauling zebras? Halle Berry in her cat woman suit. It'd be really cool if one of the tigers jumped down from there and did a cannonball 
in the water <laughs> right there. But I guess I guess it's nap time. I guess when you're a tiger, it's nap time is whenever you want it to be nap time. So these yellow dots, those are their eyes. <laughs> Alright, pet them, but don't pet their eyes, Jen. Hello. Hello, little guys. I'm a sea urchin. And then they'll move go. those spines around your finger, give you a little sea urchin hug. Pet a, pet a sea urchin. They give hugs? Yeah, if you put it right in between the spines, so where that sand is. Oh, like here? Right here. Oh, okay. Is it giving you a little hug? It is! Aw, oh, sea urchins give hugs. Oh. Learn something every day. Oh, there it goes. What's wrong, Jen? Was the sea urchin dirty? <laughs> Covered in hugs. Yeah. You can see Nemo and Dory right there. Looks like we're heading up some sort of temple environment here. Got some sharks over here. Look at the size of this clam right here. I see those giant clam shells from time to time. I don't know if I've, I've seen one that's alive and open like that. It's very interesting. There's some paintings here in the temple wall of us uh, men battling a shark. It almost looks like there's like a big bloody red handprint there in the middle. See the big lionfish there. They're very beautiful, but apparently they're also uh, very bad for the environment. I think people have released them into the wild in Florida from their, uh, you know, they buy them as tropical fish and then they can't take care of them. And now they are an invasive species. All right, looks like from here we're entering some sort of shipwreck. Uh-oh, it's a hole in the shipwreck. Oh yeah, we got some really big sharks over here inside the shipwreck. Oh yeah. It's also like portholes on the ground. So you can see fish laying on the ground under, uh, under our feet there. Oh yeah, there is a shark actually, shark down under there. Oh, look at the big sawfish down there. Oh, I love this guy here. Look at his crazy teeth and crazy eyes. I love his face. Take a look into the jellyfish tank here. Jellyfish can be very hypnotic. Let's just look at them. Yeah, I can just stay here all day and watch these uh, jellyfish pulsate. These are moon jellies in here. Just look at all them, little different shapes and sizes of jellies. There. Oh look! Oh, I don't think you want to touch that one. He's upside down. Yeah, that's good. Hi. They like it. I don't know if they like it. <laughs> Maybe they like puddles. Hello. They don't have a brain. No. Well. <laughs> they don't have a brain. Or eyes. All right. So um, they apparently do. they. They don't like or dislike it because they don't have a brain. <laughs> they can't nervous, like or dislike anything. Their nervous system is a neural net. See all those lines okay. that look like veins? That's their nervous system. This is a we have the stingray tank here. You can see them poking their little fins up. Almost looks like almost looks like a bunch of little tiny sharks right here. Hi, oh, this one wants this one wants a high five. Oh, they're feeding the... Oh, they're splashing. They're splashing because they're hungry. Hi, buddy. Oh, hey there. Hi. How are you? I don't have any food. I'm sorry. Oh, no. 
<laughs> oh, there they go. There you go. Oh, look at his big mouth. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Hey! <laughs> look at him peeking. <laughs> oh, you got I, some? Got, I got a little fish to feed my friends. All right, so they're they're, frozen. here's the instruction. You got to put them in between your finger. Oh, this guy knows what's coming. Put it in between your fingers and your finger. Like this? Yeah, put it like that. <laughs> and then you stick it in the water. Oh, and then they they, they, they chomp it out of your hand. I'm scared. You're scared? They're just stingrays. Here you go, buddy. Oh no, oh no. Listen to the noise he's making. You okay, Jed? I think I dropped it. He wants his fish, just give it to him. Before he gets angry. Can't hurt you, Jed. He's just a little stig, right? I like feeding them. They make weird noises. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> oh, he just spit! He just said thank you. As we exit through the gift shop here, here's a very interesting. I was going to see if they had any of uh, the, the, the muscular shark outside, see if they had any merchandise regarding to, to him. I uh, cannot find anything for Sharky, but they did have this. This is a Heroes of, J of Goo Jitsu. This is like a shark man wearing a space helmet with a. a Pump, pump power. I, don't know, I think he's got like squishiness in him. Yeah, it's kind of like a Stretch Armstrong type deal. So a wonderful aquarium here in downtown Denver. But now I believe we're gonna go out to eat at a classic establishment here in Denver, Colorado. And here we are at a Denver institution. The Buckhorn Exchange. It says right there on the sign, Denver's oldest restaurant established 1893. It's Elk Antlers hanging over the door, greeting us. As you can see in here, we have quite a bit of taxidermy on the walls. It's maybe the most amount of taxidermy I've ever seen in one restaurant. Just look, look at all these heads here. Look at the uh, water buffalo right there. Like like a hundred antelope heads there. We've got the big white buffalo there in the middle. That's that's incredibly rare. A white buffalo that has a lot of significance to uh, Native Americans. Spotted another jackalope over there. That's the uh, the uh, jackalope couple. For some reason, female jackalopes don't have antlers. Spotted a very large jackalope up there. Look at these birds here. A little bird box. Some squirrels in there as well. A little fox creeping there up above the box. Now what's this big bird right here? Just look at this. There's a an entire entire buck there hanging on the wall. Not just his head, his entire body. The moose there, lots of elk. Oh, look at this scary pig. It's a vicious coyote there, has grabbed a hold of that quail. A little monkey right there in the corner. So we're gonna be eating in the upstairs lounge. And if you look on the staircase here, you have different people that have won the annual Buffalo Bill look-alike contest. This gentleman won in 1988 is the 1989 winner. We'll see here from the landing on the stairs just how much taxidermy there really is in here. Lots of elk. There's the uh, jackalope back in there. It's a buffalo head. That's a really big elk right there. Oh, the little tiny, tiny little black bear. And then look at that. We got uh, John Wayne hanging up here at the top of the stairs. Got 
a canoe full of critters there. Some raccoons, a skunk, and a badger. It's a big old grizzly bear there. All right, we're gonna be sitting right here in the lounge. And look at this, their menu is actually a newspaper. I guess it talks about uh, the uh, steakhouse here. It says world famous steakhouse opens doors in 1893. Ooh, a single bullet stops Renegade. Buckhorn exchange hold up foiled. If you actually open up the newspaper here, we have a menu inside and they specialize in wild game. You get buffalo meat, elk meat, Colorado lamb. Yeah, look at that. In the back here, there's an article about jackalopes invading the uh, United States Senate. Interesting. <laughs> and our appetizer has arrived. We ordered some Rocky Mountain oysters. Jen, uh, Jen really wanted to try some Rocky Mountain oysters. I don't know why. I, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> now, um, so the menu, you know, just it says they are called their Rocky Mountain oysters, but um, despite what you may believe, this is not a uh, this is not a a shellfish. This is uh, it's a it's a part of the uh, a bull's anatomy, not a cow, but a bull's. Oh, I didn't anatomy. even know that. I thought it was a cow. Well, I guess a bull, a male cow would be a bull, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So if it's a male and they have some goods. <laughs> All right, let's uh honestly I've I've never ordered these before. I'm never, really surprised you've never I've tried I've never them. tried them before. I like to try unusual different delicacies. For some reason just the thought of this like didn't sit right with me. Um but yeah they looks like they're like cut and slivered and <laughs> and we're gonna give them a try here. Yum yum yum. What did they say these sauces were? Is that cocktail horse? Cocktail and uh, like cocktail a and horse horn, radish. Horseradish. See so it with cocktail sauce, just like a just like a normal so oyster. Hot. No, not that hot. Alright, let's give these a try. Actually why don't you why don't you tell me, Jen? Give that uh give that Rocky Mountain oyster. Just like bite calamari. it. Just bite into it. Can I take a smaller one? You said it's like calamari. It's Rocky Mountain What's calamari. That? That's awesome. I'll try this one the horseradish. How is it? What's it taste it's like? It's fine. Um, Do you love it? It's fine. It's fine. What does it taste like? I don't know. This is a very bad one. <laughs> here, I think you should take this giant one. Oh my gosh. All right, so here we go. The Rocky Mountain Oyster. Since it is an oyster, I'm going to dip it in a little bit of a cocktail sauce, and here we go. I think it's similar to calamari. Yeah, I'd say like a calamari-like consistency, like a slight livery taste to it. And yes, it is like, it is getting to me a little bit, the consistency. Like, if this, someone, if I really thought this was just an oyster or some sort of sea creature, I would say this was excellent, but um, the knowledge in my head, the forbidden knowledge is getting to me. All right, we're gonna try another one here. I wanted to see what it tastes like with the creamy horseradish. Mm. Again, very good. Pretty unique flavor to it. It's um, it's really like complete. Just talking about just the taste and flavor and consistency. It's very, very good, but it is, it's, it's playing games with my head. Yeah, I just want to reiterate, these are so good. Like, completely based on a culinary perspective, these are absolutely delicious. I would eat these every day, but I don't know that I, I don't know that I will. <laughs> Look at that. Believe it or not, we ate every last one of them. Clean testicle pump. I so said this is the soup that they've been uh, serving since they first opened in the 1890s. It's a ham and navy bean soup. So we'll take a little taste of this. Ooh, very hot. 
Very tasty though. That tastes like, I guess I got the ham in there. Almost has like a uh, bacony flavor there with the, with the beans. All right, Jen, what did you get there? It's that buffalo prime rib. It's, a, it's a prime rib, but it's not cow, it is buffalo. Yes. I didn't even know buffaloes had a prime rib, but I guess they have all the same, they have all the same no, parts as a cow. And I got the elk, a little piece of elk there with some garlic butter on it, and then two quail as well. I've had elk before, <laughs> but I've never, I don't think I've ever had quail, like these little tiny, little tiny birds. All right, let's start out with the elk here. Mm. Mm. Very good taste to it. It's like a beefy taste, very beefy taste. Almost more beefy than beef. Really, that's really, really good. All right, you're gonna try some buffalo prime rib. Is it good? It's really, really good. Is it, how does it compare to like a regular prime rib, like beef prime rib? It's kind of like the same thing I said about the elk. It seems like beefier. Beefier than beef? Yeah, it I think like it has more of a meaty taste. I think they have less fat in them. So you can actually taste like the actual flavor of the beef, yeah, of the of, of the meat a little more. more. All right, we're gonna try the quail here. That is a that is a leg quarter of a quail. Significantly, significantly smaller than a chicken. Mm. It's got some really good tender flavor to it. There's an apricot, an apricot sauce underneath that. Mm. Ooh, that's excellent. That's the yummiest little, yummiest little bird leg I've ever had. And we have obtained clean plate club, eating some uh, wild animals, and they were all delicious. And check this out. This building can't hold all the taxidermy inside. Some of the taxidermy has come outside. You can see a outdoor taxidermy antelope there. Yeah, out here you see all these shiny new buildings. It's brand new apartment complexes. Looks like they were all built very recently. And then in the middle of all this, all this new stuff, you have the oldest restaurant in Denver, the Buckhorn Exchange. Let's hope, let's hope it stays that way. Yes, absolutely one of my favorite restaurants here in Denver, Colorado, the Buckhorn Exchange. Not only is it packed with tons of amazing taxidermy, but you can actually eat the animals that are on the wall. They have elk and buffalo. Definitely love, I, I really do. I don't get a chance to eat wild game much, but I do definitely enjoy it. Definitely has a, a, a flavor to it that you don't necessarily always see in you know some of the uh, more common farm animals that you uh, end up eating. And I finally, finally tried Rocky Mountain Oysters. I, I had seen them before on menus. I had been enticed, but some sort of psychological block. And I must say, they are absolutely delicious. Actually, walking through the restaurant, you could see almost everyone had ordered uh, their own Rocky Mountain Oysters. So, a very delicious food. It, it has a great taste to it. Kind of like, uh, we've been talking about like a cross between calamari and like a, with a slight like livery taste to it, like chicken liver. But uh, yeah, it, it's good. If you can get, uh, if you can get it right in your head with what you are, uh, what you are eating, then uh, def definitely recommend trying the Rocky Mountain oysters. But uh, thank you guys so much for uh, joining me today. I went to the aquarium went to the Buckhorn Saloon. If you like these videos, please subscribe. I travel around the country from roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun stuff. If you'd like to help support the channel, consider donating to Patreon. $3 or more, get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop, including the, the new four different Carpetbagger monster face pins. Also still doing cameos too, private messages, greetings, birthday wishes, anniversary wishes, or just for fun wishes. And uh, of course, all that helps keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Till next time my friends, this one's in the bag.